This episode brought to you by <laughs> yep, Bush Light. Corn Brothers. Corn Brothers. Corn Bros. We're a bit husky. <laughs> I, I hear you there. Okay. Oh. Welcome into episode four of a top five podcast. <laughs> I'm Dan. I'm Mike. I am also Dan. Uh, we're having a great time doing this, guys. Um, Speak for yourself. Tuning in. Okay. Some of us are having a good time doing this. Um, we're really enjoying all the feedback we're getting and, and kind of talking through this with you guys. So we appreciate all the support and uh, keep it coming. We love it. So we're going to throw it over to our news correspondent, Mike, here. Uh, Mike, what's on the news for today? Uh, let's go ahead and get it started for you guys. There is a soon-to-be groom that was left freaked out by his fiance's family's wedding night ritual. So this is what oh boy. I guess everybody in the family that got married, this was their ritual. Uh, so the husband and the husband and wife, they go into the master bedroom together and they're supposed to consummate the marriage. The rest okay. of the family is waiting outside the door so mm -hmm. they can applaud them and cheer them when they come out. Then a oh. piece of the bed sheet is cut off and sewn into big tapestry on like her wedding dress of her girlfriend's mother's gown. I don't know. When, weird. when does the story get weird? <laughs> <laughs> Who do, where is this coming from? I don't is know. This, tell me this is from Arkansas. It sounds like something Dwight's family would do. It's, it's like, it it's like the swamp. It's in the swamp of Louisiana. It's that deep South uh, custom there. Did you guys have We any... love Louisiana, by the way. Great, we... great state. <laughs> Did you guys have any weird rituals when you guys got married? Uh, I don't think so. I think mo most of them are pretty, uh, pretty, pretty standard. Thin. Nothing like that, I'll tell you that. I mean, yeah, other yeah. than that news story, it was pretty standard for me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Was that article mm. about you? No. Well, you probably get this all the time. That was what? Dan's wedding night. I was. Yeah. No. Little, little did we know. I always wanted to make the news. <laughs> you did it. Yay. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> That's my wife. <laughs> oh, it's good stuff. That is a good story. Good. That was a good story. Yeah, that one caught my eye. Oh, good, good. Yeah. So uh, we've got, um, let's talk about the running totals that we got for our bad people card game. Uh, I think I'm still sitting at six. Oh, I've got dose. Two right. and Mike has one. I've got one. Uh, and just uh, for for those of you that did not tune in last week, we did come up with a punishment. Um, the punishment is the first person to get a score of twelve points has to buy a round of margaritas at a local Mexican restaurant. Um, That's right. For all of our fans. For <laughs> no, no, no. It's just for the three of us. Oh, just for the three of us, right? Anybody can come show out and up, join but, us. Yeah. Yeah. You come out and join us, but I'm not. All right. Well, I say I'm not because I got six points. It's, oh, yeah, it's not you're halfway there. It's looking grim for living a on a prayer, Dan. Living on a prayer. Living on a prayer. But hey, I think um, you might be able to change the outside here this week. We'll, we'll see, see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens. Uh, once again, Mike is the one who picks these cards, and uh, he only has one point so far. So, <laughs> coincidence. We'll happens, is yeah. it a coincidence? I live my, my life the right way, guys. Mm. I'm a good people. Mm. All right. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Start it off, Mike, would you? Here we go. Most likely to cheat while playing a board game. I'm going Dan Dock right in here. Only because he's so competitive. Uh, I think he's probably the most competitive out of all of us when we play board games. I am jealous I'm not winning this game. Um, <laughs> yeah, you just took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> He is uh he's a competitive one whenever we play uh we'll, we'll have uh game nights um every so often and and he he does he does get a little competitive when we play those games. So I'm, go Danny D. Up. I'm also going Danny D. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> you are a competitive SOB. And you and don't that's like not to, a bad thing. You like you don't like no, to that's lose. why you love me, you know. So oh. um anyway, that's why I, no, I don't know. I I would pick I would pick myself uh but since <laughs> I can't um I think of all of us, who's who's the most uh, openly competitive uh, uh, second to me? I'm I'm going Mike for sure. Mike doesn't like to lose in anything. He's a little bit quieter about it. He he kind of burns on the inside, but I can. Yeah. If you know Mike long enough, you can see the burn. You can see oh, it. Oh yeah. Eyes. Oh, he gets at me. <laughs> he also wants to win, but quietly. Mm -hmm. I'll ro I'll rob the Monopoly bank if I have to. 
<laughs> just flips the board. All right. So, Dan, that's your third? Mm-hmm. That's number three. Oh. Don't call it a comeback. <clears throat> Kim <All> Kardashian. Right. <laughs> oh, boy. Number two. <laughs> just leave that one alone. Who's the last person I'd want to be trapped in an elevator with? Mike. I'm going to go Mike. He's just going to rip farts. It's going to stink His so bad. His farts are the worst, and you can't get out. And I think – He's going to establish a fart corner. Boy. <laughs> See, but here's I'll, the thing. Even if he has a corner, it's the entire elevator. Oh, I know. I know. But you his logic is I'm that. establishing the fart corner. Yeah. Just, See, if, I, if I was to say me, I can't say me, but I would just because I'm so <laughs> – cla- I'm claustrophobic and I'd probably be freaking out the most. Oh, uh, that's true. So now he's got the scared farts. <laughs> yeah. It's, They're just coming out of him all the time. It, it's, that's, it's, that's a bad situation there. It's not going to be great. Um. I guess if I had to pick, I'd probably go Danny D. Just Mike. I, I would have <laughs> – I'd probably be freaking out, and I think I'd get on your nerves so bad that you would you would lash back at me. Mm. And, and uh, that's that's my only reason. So but if I, not, uh, I'd pick Mike myself. With, Mike what we summed up points. today is I'm, uh, I'm very violent. So Yeah, you are an aggressive man. Thank that you. sounds – yeah, that's, that's pretty true. Mm. Oh. Well, hey, the final card – Okay. And look at you, Danny B, not getting anything yet. Well, I'm sweating. Most likely to get a tattoo they will regret later. Uh, Ooh, that's tough. Um, you know, I'll, pick, I'll pick Dan just because he's the only person that has openly talked about getting a tattoo with me in, in this group. You've talked about getting a tattoo more. I'm not saying yeah. you regret it. I'm just saying that you're most likely to get one. And I think I've talked to you about this as well, and I think you're not a tattoo guy. What I was going to say. I'm not a tattoo person. Not that I don't like them. I just I can't imagine me liking something enough to get it done on my body. I think they look right. cool. Yeah. Right. I, I think we've had that conversation where you said you don't want want that on you, and that's why yeah. I'm going to go Dan Bortz as well. Yeah. Because I know he wants them. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'll go Mikey just because the default. Uh, Doc Green doesn't want one, and me and Mike have actually talked about getting tattoos. I would get one. Uh, Wait a minute. Let's bring that up. Let's get that on the record right now. Okay. You guys were so firm about getting blues tattoos when we won the cup. You guys have been talking about it for six or seven years. And I still right. plan and you're going to do it. But I want to. I want to lose weight before I get a tattoo. When's it going to happen? I want to. I want to drop some lbs before I, you know, put ink to skin here. I think it'll happen this year. This year, uh, 2020. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I think. On. I think you need to get it done before the next Stanley Cup champion. Otherwise, it's kind of stale. Well, that's going to be the Blues. Well, it's never going to be stale. It's forever. Well, I mean, in, in terms my, of getting, it's it. forever in my heart, Dan. That's kind of delayed, man. I don't know. Okay. If you were serious about it, you'd have it already. Oh my God! Listen, Dan, you going left cheek? Absolutely. One my left man. cheek. My Face man. cheek, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh. Uh huh. Okay. Right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, and cheeky fellow. Well, post okay, Malone. so. Hey, yeah. face, face the music, Dan. Get the old uh, oh. face dance. Maybe just get one right here in my neck. Mm-hmm. My back. Big. <laughs> hey, 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 right, hey. right next to your face. Uh-huh. Maybe I'm okay. a crack. So what do we got here? We've got uh, a Running seven. Total. Yep, seven. Danny, you got three? Three. And Mike's I got two. Yep. Yeah. And Mikey, Mikey has two now. So, so Danny, he's inching his way closer. Yeah, we're well, creeping. You know, Dan, you've got to feel a little bit more comfortable now. I wouldn't say that you feel like you're off the hook, but no, I don't feel it, comfortable at all. Well, it's yeah, not a landslide anymore. You didn't gain mm, any ground. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah landslide's going to bring you down. You know, man, I don't like it. I don't like it because I know we all know Marg nights get expensive. Oh well, yeah. So I'm not looking forward to this punishment. Listen, boys, I've had fun with these top five lists so far. What do we got this week? I'll tell you what. So this week's top five is top five fast food. We're it's been a good some, one. And we're hoping we get some good feedback on this one. We know everybody loves their fast food. And uh, the only rule we came up with for this one is it, the place has to have a drive through to can be considered fast food. Yep. That's correct. Yeah. Who wants to kick it off? You want me to kick it off? Whoever wants it. If you're it. ready, go for it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick it off, guys. Um, we, we did some – we did some – we did some research here. Now, it's tough because there are so many good fast food restaurants in St. Louis. Um, I feel like we're kind of spoiled. Um, 
but and even my I've switched out this number five pick three or four times now when we've made our list. The number five pick is the hardest in every category we've done so far. It yeah. really is. It's the rotating door. It is. Because I, I had one in there and I'm like, oh man. And you start thinking, you're like, oh my God, I totally forgot about this one. I totally and forgot that, about this one. And that's kind of how the honorable mention list started. It's like, I kind of still want to mention these. <laughs> yeah, you, you, kinda, you, you still like it, but it, it didn't, didn't break top five. Or it, mm. it may have broke top five, but then it got bumped out. Yeah. Dan Boris, number kinda, five. How, Hear me out. Baja Blast. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so my number five is going to be uh, rallies or checkers in some Ooh. places. Mm. It's a good one. Um, it is a good one. Um, I picked that one because we used to go there um, quite often in, in my childhood. My mom would bring us there and uh, we get the big Bufords, those spicy chicken sandwiches. That was your nickname in grade school, Big Buford. <laughs> big Buford. <laughs> I the remember Buford. that name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Big Buford is such a complete cheeseburger. It's so good. It's so greasy. It's not healthy at all. But if you're oh, going well, to a no. fast, if you're going to a fast food restaurant, you expect it to be a greasy burger. Yeah, I don't think we're. I don't think the criteria for anything we're picking here has to do with the uh, health. It no, does no. not. It's no. a it's it's a double patty, double cheese. It's just an absolutely delicious burger, and not you cannot leave out the rally French fry. Mm. Oh yeah, and um, I think they I think they had like one of the best spicy chicken sandwiches, didn't they? Oh, their yeah. spicy chicken sandwich, the buffalo spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah. It was completely dipped. It was a it was spicy patty good. dipped in buffalo sauce, and then they put a little lettuce and mayonnaise on it. My hey, man, wasn't guy. it? Was it two for one or two for two, the spicy chicken sandwiches? I think they were two for two. And they're still doing it today. They don't care Are they about still inflation. doing the Buffalo one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the Buffalo one was so good. All right, so that was my number five. Uh, my number four, um, I'm going to go with Lee's Chicken on this one. Wow. Yeah, absolutely nice. delicious. Probably my favorite fried chicken fast food restaurant. Man, I it mean, is it, good. Even the original has – even the original has the spice to it, which I like. I don't the think original, I've ever the, ate there. The, oh, my God, Mike. Why? Wow, wow. That's good. there's a church's chicken up the street. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, their famous recipe is delicious, but the spicy <laughs> fried chicken has a spice to it that's not too bad, but the, the, the skin is so crispy and so delicious. Uh, and they also have these, these it, they're not chicken strips, but they're called spicy jumbo dippers. You dip Jumbo those in some. Dippers. You you dip those in some chipotle ranch. Oh my god! Oh, wait, they're not chicken strips. They're not. They're like. They're almost like cubes. They're like fat chicken breast cubes. Mm. Uh, that's oh natural. my god! They're absolutely delicious. <laughs> the coleslaw is delicious. The sweet tea is delicious. Um, do you love a good so that, sweet tea? They do have a good sweet tea. So that's my number four. Uh, number three. The the top three in my list was kind of tough, um, but. I had to nail it in. Number three, coming at you with Jack in the Box. Mm -hmm. Absolutely phenomenal egg rolls. I don't know how a fast food restaurant has better egg rolls than most <laughs> St. Louis restaurants Chinese, uh, restaurants. Chinese restaurants. Oh, my God. They're so delicious. They're just so the, – Just the variety on the menu. The variety. Yeah. You got the tacos. All, that all day. Absolute, yeah. All day, you can get breakfast, you can get lunch. I mean, it's absolutely delicious. The, the egg rolls, delicious. Yeah. The tacos, delicious. And even their breakfast jacks. Yes, I'm bringing it back to eighth grade. Breakfast jacks. Oh, you are uh, all about it. You still oh my, sure. Oh, my God, I love those. It's just a, what is it, a ham, egg, cheese That's on a it. little bun. They used to be a dollar. I think they're dollar twenty nine now. But it's such a simple sandwich, but it's so good. It is good. Yeah. Uh, so that's my number three. Number two, it's going to be Burger King. Oh. And let me tell you why. Burger King has the most delicious, and you can't, you can't compete with a fast food burger. It has the okay. best tasting fast food burger out flame there. Grill. You, oh, that the is flame, uh, it's that's not a bold. It's not the best burger. No, it's the best burger. Well, you didn't do your research this time. But we'll no, I didn't. We'll <laughs> no, stop it. It is. It has the best taste. It, you've Damn, got it's where flame. taste is king. It's so. it's almost as if they barbecued the burger and you got it. All the other ones, it's just like flat meat. It, it, there's there's really no taste. Yeah, to you it. have it your way, Dan. It's a well, microwave patty. Seems yeah. like you forgot about Hardee's. Uh, Hardee's doesn't flame grill though. It's just fat meat. There's no taste to it. That's mm. all I care about is fat meat. <laughs> 
Uh, oh <laughs> boy, man um, loves his prison. And I'm also a huge, huge fan of their French fries. I know Dan Dockraden is not. Oh my god, that's <laughs> the worst fast food French fry. I am also French not a fr- fan. The French fries went through a lull for a while there. They were crinkle cuts, and they're like, okay, the crinkle cuts are good, but now. Dude, it's crispy on the outside. It's fluffy on the inside. You dip that in some mayonnaise. Oh my God, get out oh, of here! Mayonnaise. <laughs> Let's back up here. No, he's got to dip I will, them in mayonnaise will, to make them better. No, I said if you do dip them in mayonnaise, how does it? And for, how does it? Make and if it mayonnaise better? doesn't make your top five fry condiment, you can get out of here because oh, it's, it's that so is good. The weirdest. How of- many are there? Try me and tell me. Try it and tell me it's not delicious. No, I don't think I just try it. My heart does not want me to just your heart does your farts do (laughs) what? So we're going to go for number one, uh, number one in my heart. And I think Mike's Taco Bell. How dare you put my list? (laughs) Number one, it's going to be Taco Bell. Um, They have probably my favorite debatable my favorite soda on any fast food restaurant menu it's baja blast <laughs> man you like some trash items that no taco bell is the only thing keeping baja blast in business and it is and i appreciate them so much because that is so delicious it's mm. so crisp it's so tropical oh my tastes god like, it tastes is. like they filtered it through cinnamon twists you taste like <laughs> cinnamon twist it's delicious their chicken quesadillas absolutely phenomenal uh, the Mexican pizzas and a little sleeper no. item. The Mexican pizza is good. No, I know it's guys. I know. <laughs> ex- expand your palate, would you? Oh, uh, we've tried. We've tried all the things you say are great. And a sleeper <laughs> item, I will say, I'll leave it at this, uh, and we can move on. No, <laughs> uh, they do have a um, a cheesy bean and rice burrito. It's mm. a dollar. It's on their dollar menu, and they put a uh, quesadilla sauce in it. Mm. Ooh. It's That's absolutely, it is. It's absolutely delicious and vegetarian for those who are, who are looking for that. But uh, it's, it's a, it's a great item. Taco we Bell said, is. We said no health conscious stuff in this. I just said, I'm just for those who look for the, for the vegetarian oh, options. Okay. What's the uh, cows? But absolutely. I have no idea. <laughs> um, absolutely delicious. So Taco Bell, number one in my list and in my heart. In his list. Mind if I hop in here? Jump hey, go on ahead, it. Dan. I'm going to hop in here. I did this in an episode before. Uh, I think it was the chip uh, list. And I will see your number one and make it my number five. Taco Bell is my number five. Going down. Take That's my low. List. That's a it's slap. A t- hey, it's still on the top five. It's I not know. An honorable mention. It's not an honorable I know. Mention. Yeah. So it's number five. Uh, I okay. don't get it a lot, but it is a good late night one. Ta- I don't it's a think great I, late night. I honestly don't think I've ever had. It's been a long time since I've had Taco Bell like a normal meal. It's usually like a late night thing. It's my go-to. You've got a you got a sober driver or DD or whatever, and you swing through Taco Bell on the way home and eat it. If it's a weekend, yeah, you got that three a.m. drive-through. Mm-hmm. You do. And the nice thing is, I think it has to do with location too. I have one right down the street. I'm a big fan of all the. Uh, I'd go out of my way for it. All the uh, <laughs> the mixed boxes that they do all the time. That's usually what I get. If like the main item is the bargain I box or like a new one, the five dollar really, boxes. Yeah, yeah, the five dollar boxes. You get a yeah. lot for your money with those. Oh, you sure. really do. Yeah. So I like those. Uh, Number four on my list, uh, we already touched on it earlier, definitely the most versatile uh, fast food restaurant that I'm aware of, Jack in the Box, number four. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah. It's great. Uh, I went to school in Cape Girardeau down in SEMO, and uh, uh, they didn't. They didn't have Jack in the Box. Oh, they didn't there. have them down there. No. Really? No. The, no, the closest. Oh no. Yeah, the closest one was in Herculaneum. So mm, was, California. Yeah. Mm. Was it like an hour drive? <laughs> an hour drive. Yeah. So oh, never to a ch- wow. So there were I, there were. Several Did you ever times make the you, trip? You, you no, but there were several times like you didn't have Jack in the Box for six months and you were hungry after the drive, and you just hit that on the way home. How does oh, a yeah. Jack in the Box not think like, oh, let's put one on a college town? So for their for their distribution, that's they always, true. They always said that that the stores have to be thirty miles apart. So oh, okay. there's, there's not another store within 30 miles of Cape Girardeau. Well, they better start making a line to Cape Girardeau. I'm no saying, kidding. you guys want to start? They a, would. You guys want to start up a side business? So should we get a, a franchise uh, going? Jack in the Box is down Highway 55. <laughs> yeah, apparently. I don't think that's that your trip. So yeah, that's <laughs> that's number four. Number three, um, also amazing variety and just really high quality food overall. Um, I'm going Culver's number three. Okay. Wow. 
I love okay. me some Culver's. Uh, I like the uh, the steak burger patty. If you get a burger, they've got good fish sandwiches. They got good chicken sandwiches. Their things like They're the cheese- butter burger, right? The butter oh, burger, yeah. yeah. They're cheese like curds thing. too. Oh boy, cheese cur- You can get cheese curds, onion so rings, delicious. fries. All their I sides don't... are good. And of all the fast food restaurants, oh my god, they they have by far the best dessert. And I don't get dessert very often at fast food, but man, the, the custard that they have there. I've made a bold claim lately. It is good custard. It you guys is... never been to Fritz's. <laughs> no, Fritz's, Fritz's was always my top, and I love Fritz's Fresh, but for whatever reason, Culver's stays solid longer than Fritz's. Fritz's melts really fast. I love Fritz's. It's still my favorite, but Culver's lasts longer. Like you I think can Culver's get all the way home. Potatoes. What? <laughs> Ma- mashed taters? The ice the mashed, cream. The mashed tater ice cream. Just pureed, just pureed mashed potatoes. The reason it didn't <laughs> make my you list. Add brown, you had brown gravy for chocolate. Oh, no. oh yuck. Oh, God. That's I hear that a lot that. around Thanksgiving. Oh, it's just, yuck. <laughs> it's just cold taters and cold gravy. Oh, yuck, man. You just ruined it for me. <laughs> the reason I didn't put it on my top is because the wait is always so long. Yeah, it is. But it's worth it, though. You want to talk yeah. about a wait. I, I feel like it is. Is a weight. Freddy's is a weight. That's true. That's and I do is. like I do like Freddy's, but they Freddy's have the is sh- good. They have the shoestring fries. Like I'm not a fan shake. either. I'm not into it. Not so, either. No, it's it's too it's too inefficient. Give me it's like give, eating give dust. me one give me one big fry. Jeez. I don't need all the little ones. Heard that. Stab me in my nostril on the way in. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> are you blind? Why are you <laughs> aggressively why are you aggressively eating yeah. those shoestrings? Well, you gotta see what's up there. Gotta feed them bogers. Number two, number two, I actually go to this fast food restaurant more than any of the others on my list, and that's why it's on my list. Number two is Jimmy John's. Oh. Number I two thought is about Jimmy it. John's. Love I Jimmy didn't John's. Think about it. It's a it's I'm not saying it's my favorite sandwich. It's just a solid sandwich. And for whatever reason, it's addicting. I don't know what they put in the bread or what, but it's like what is your go to sandwich? Oh, you gotta go Italian nightclub. Thank you. That's the gotta best go, one there. Gotta go Italian nightclub. <laughs> the best one there number nine. italian nightclub with jalapeno chips um, you get the do you add the hot peppers i add the hot peppers you yes. gotta add the hot peppers gotta on, add the, on hot the whole peppers. wheat bread though no on the regular you gotta bread. get the whole it's, wheat bread i've done it i've done i've it. had both I've had, they're it's both good. so good it is good it i just feel good. like it, it's a little less sandwich on the whole wheat i know but the but the like the sunflower seeds in that bread oh it's, it's great. good bread. it's great I get the uh, the ultimate porker. It's absolutely delicious. Porker. First of all, I hardly know her. <laughs> okay, there she is. Hello. There she is. Is that all you had? Yeah, that was it. Okay. Never had that. <laughs> and uh, my number one. Um, this guy. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Wendy's. <I knew> it. <laughs> my, Wendy's is your number one? Well, listen <laughs> A man to go oh give me some wind. I got a show. <laughs> I'm doing a podcast. Listen, listen. My number one. It's my number one because it is the best. It is the best combination of burger and sandwich quality to French fry ratio. By the way, if you're if you're listening, he's eating Wendy's fries <laughs> and took a and took a sip of a Wendy's cup. Very good. This bastard here. You got to keep. Up it the is prop. good. I'm prop I'll tell guy. you what. Yeah, you are a prop guy now. It's got to be forever. You know what I really what I really wanted to do since I'm kind of the prop guy now. I didn't have enough time. I didn't know Wendy's was going to be my number one. We really <laughs> wish I could have found a red Wendy's wig. Then you guys could have called me Carrot Top. <laughs> we're gonna oh, throw man. in like a that like a, perfect a top five ways to die, and we're gonna see what your prop is. <laughs> <laughs> I will say their their Asiago Ranch spicy chicken sandwich. That's a great sandwich. Is probably one of the best fast food <clears throat> chicken sandwiches. Uh, it it's it's absolutely delicious, and we don't have to get into this bit debate right now. Uh, I don't. already know that Dan, you said that the you know the Burger King fries are your, you really like those, but for yep. me, Wendy's are my favorite fries, and I love their burgers. They do for whatever reason they do they advertise that they're fresh, and they just taste fresh. They taste more fresh than any of the other uh, very major good. chains. You don't um, get those like McDonald's. You get like those soggy ones sometimes. Yeah, yeah, man, they're fresh <laughs> and like, um obviously had it for dinner tonight and it's just like it's like a it's like a sturdy buttery bun it is Sorry. good i i will give you that mcdonald's didn't even make an honorable mention for me no no <clears throat> that that is like the ultimate pull out of a freezer basic food I, it's just 
quick and I don't know. The only time I ever have McDonald's if, is if I'm in a rush to go somewhere. Right. I haven't eaten breakfast. And I get breakfast. Their that's, breakfast is good. It's good, but that's that's the only thing I ever get from there. I can't tell you the last time I got like a burger or a chicken sandwich. I got it a ton like in college. Sure. So McDonald's was there. You get, you know, McChickens and McDoubles and all that stuff for a buck. But, McDoubles are good. Yeah. Okay. Wendy's number one, Dan. Wendy's. I'm actually surprised that different- didn't make number Bortz's one. list. I oh, do like I, – You're I surprised do like you heard his trash picks. Oh, I mean, like, Mike. I feel like it did make Wendy's. Listen, it, and like I said, it, there was a rotating door on five, and, and Wendy's was one of them that rotated in because one of my favorite things to get from fast food restaurants, on, to be quick, is their, uh, their spicy chicken snack wraps. Mm-hmm. It's like $1.39. They just cut a huge breast in half, throw it in a, throw it in a little uh, tortilla with some ranch and, and some lettuce and mm-hmm. cheese. Oh, my God. It's so it's good. It's so simple. It's $1.39. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, oh, Wendy, I know. Wendy, if you're listening, throw a sponsor over here. Please do. Okay, Mike, hit Talking us with up. your list, would you? <laughs> All right, number five. I got Hardee's. Nice. This, Hardee's this is one, good. This one came in and out, but I, I landed on number five. In and out, nice. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Hardee's, I mean, their burgers are very, very good. And they're they, good. When, when we lived in the apartment over on Prowley, mm-hmm. they had this, like, ghost pepper burger. They oh, ghost, they did ghost pepper sauce with jalapeno, jalapenos on it. Yeah, it was so good. And then they took out the menu. I was very disappointed, but I had that so much because it was just so good. Mm-hmm. The thing that I don't like about Hardee's is they have so many good burgers that they put on the the menu and then they take them away. Well, they got to keep you guessing, Dan. Like the ghost burger, they had a a grilled cheese thick burger where it was mm. grilled cheese oh, on yeah. both top and bottom. Yeah, mm. it was so gooey and so delicious. And then you, you like you're like, oh my god, I need to go get that again. You go get it. Oh, sorry, we don't have that anymore. Yeah, oh, come on. But great yeah, burger. The Absolutely. one I I just my go to there is the Frisco burger. I never got that one. I love that. It's like the number one or something there. Like if you were looking at their menu items, I think it's the yeah. number one. They have really good sliders now. Slider, they're sl- uh, hardly know her. Do they? I I know that they got like. Uh, yeah, they have little little slider cheeseburgers. They're like a dollar. I think those are a dollar forty nine, but they're they're pretty good. Or you can get a double. Did you guys have any honorable mentions? Well, hold on. Mike hasn't finished his list oh, yet. Oh, jeez. Oh, sorry. Just cut me. Holy hey, you make it out of hey, here. Hey, Mike, you're done, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. I only have a number five. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, number here, four. Hardies. <laughs> yeah. Again, hardest. <laughs> no, number four, I'm throwing it over to Sonic. Hmm. You know what? That's uh, Mike, let me tell you something. It almost made my honorables. And, and again, it almost made honorables. So it wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> I'm glad I you just, got I just picked up on it. that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, ahead, Mike. Sorry. No. So they they do their like they're just their cheeseburgers. They have the like regular a, cheeseburger, mustard, ketchup, mayonnaise, pickle, all that good stuff on there. That's that's how I like my burger dressed. Mm-hmm. So Dan and I, when we lived in the house, on sports, <laughs> sports. Sorry, yeah, I think it was like Tuesdays. Tuesdays. They it had was this, Tuesdays. They had this five burgers for five dollar deal. Oh, and me no. and Dan would go. Oh, we would. We and, would crush them. Yeah, five I, cheeseburgers. We would go there and ask for cheese, so it ended up being like seven bucks instead because you had to but have you the get cheese. Five cost. of them, but you get five, and so we would smash like four cheeseburgers, and we're like, "Oh man, we're Can't stuffed." Move. And then so you then you put later. one, yeah, you put one and you put it in the fridge, and then warm it up for like second dinner, and oh, we would just yuck, dude. dude it, it they it, were absolutely it delicious. It did work. They were good. Yeah. So. <sighs> It's just such a good burger. And they're, such they're a good dr- burger. Their such- drink, their drink game is really good. It really you're is. Talking like slushies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They have they good do. corn dogs too. Believe you're it or big not. on the corn dogs. You I love corn dogs. That. What's a corn dog doing down here? <laughs> oh, let me tell you about a corn dog. Uh, all right, number three. I'm in agreement with you guys. I got Jack and Box on the list. That's arguably the greatest drunk food for me because that's like a 24 hour drive through. That's a late night. It- you it give me really some tacos. Is. Oh, that brings me back to eighth grade with Mr. Hanky. Uh huh. Where I mean, if you did something good, you got something off the dollar menu. Which back, he, he which back in the you. day, <laughs> which back in the day was two tacos or a jumbo jack or a breakfast jack. Mm-hmm. Right. 
I mean, absolutely, absolutely delicious. I think did they go up in price? Yeah, yeah. everything. Did. So it's two tacos for a dollar, like ten or twenty something. I don't it's know. Something. Yeah, it's just a little bit more than a dollar. Yeah, there, okay. somewhere, somewhere, Matt's yelling at his radio. <laughs> the, the it's a dollar twenty-five. <laughs> Uh, Give me seven buttermilk plus three cents in tax. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I mean, that's just, that's just great food. And and the big thing for them is they've always been uh, all food all day. And knowing me, yeah. I'm not a big breakfast guy. So like that, that was always big for me. And another thing, Dan, your mom boards, your mom would always bring home a giant bag of tacos, mm-hmm. a oh, giant yeah. bag of chicken sandwiches. Yeah. And goes, so, okay. Go. I brought home, yeah. I brought home dinner. Oh, thanks, Mom. And then I remember Tom always putting a taco on his chicken sandwich and eating. Oh like my that. God. <laughs> mm, that's Revel- good. Revelation. It really you bite in, you get some of that taco that fake taco meat or whatever oh. it is inside of there. Delicious. Plus the chicken. Oh my God. So good. Yeah. So shout out to Tom for the uh chicky the taco. Chicky taco. <laughs> All right, number two. Uh I got Lion's Choice. Yeah, I was uh, I was surprised I didn't make Dan's list. Oh, he's well, an Arby's guy. I know I was an Arby's guy. Jenny was the one who turned me on to to Lion's Choice. Mm-hmm. Man, it crushes Arby's. Like it puts. We can have Arby's that debate later. Oh no, I don't even want to hear an argument for Arby or Arby's. Not Arby's. It's it, it's the variety at Arby's. There's the more variety. variety. And and have you gone since they added like all the barbecue sandwiches and stuff? If you're comparing roast, good. if you're comparing roast beef to roast beef, I completely Arby's agree. loses every time. I completely agree. But well, from a full menu standpoint, Arby's I don't, wins. I don't steer away. No wrong i know you're you're close-minded and that's fine and lion's choice has <laughs> lion's choice has the chipotle ranch and also if you dine in they got uh the pepper cheese you could put on there dude the, oh. ho- the horseradish sauce the horsey he's not, not a horsey, a horsey guy, guy. guy. man oh. their horseradish sauce is no. on it is on fire it the gives chipotle you that nostril born born <laughs> the jason nostril born. born oh my she, god it's jason born if Teresa's listening she knows she's all about that chipotle ranch from lion's choice she she got me on that. All right, Mike's okay. got one person that agrees with them. Moving <laughs> on. Everybody agrees. <laughs> what is your number one? Number one, I think we all know, Taco Bell. It's, it's got to be. It's the king of fast food. It is. Uh, you could I mean, eat it. I think Burger anytime. King, it's in, it's in the name. No, I appreciate trash. that, Dan. Uh, you get, I mean, the chicken quesadilla, that's, that's always been my go-to. With extra sauce. Yeah, yeah. You, get, you get the sauce on the side, and that's props to you boards. Like Thank you. you. Discover that, because then I could dip my extra stuff, like my oh soft my taco God. that comes with my meal in that sauce. It's so good. Oh, yeah, that you're is, a big Taco Bell guy. That's, that that is didn't the surprise best. me. No. That, I, that was the easiest choice. I knew that was going to be number one. I knew that was going to be number one, too. Right, sorry for cutting you off earlier. Oh, I'll get it. So does, does anybody have honorable mentions? I've got a couple. Dan's so, got, you don't I've have four got, again, do you? I do have four. <laughs> no, we're not doing four on them. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll just, do, I'll just do them real quick. So one was Wendy's. We talked about Wendy's. Yeah. Uh, two, two together, um, White Castles. Oh, I love White Castle. I, I know. And that was it. one that went in and out. The, the late night gaming with a Crave case. Thank where you. you just you're just pulling out sliders that apartment it's, stinks oh my god <laughs> oh it's not great so delicious and here's here's another little uh he trapped little... in an elevator with mike after that <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> no. um so mike knows about this. what you we, crave we, we used to go down to uh oh go down to florida together in crystals um it, it's oh, kind of yeah. a, it's kind of a spinoff of uh white castles they put mustard on their sliders instead Which of it's a game changer it is a game changer. So and White Castle it, doesn't have anything is, on there. Is it a spinoff or is it like Checkers and Rallies? I think it's, it's like the Southern name. thing. But I also think that they have White Castle. I think it's a diff- – yeah, it's a different company. Yeah. Do you, like have, it, do you have one more honorable mention? I do. Can I guess it? Yes. Bojangles? It's Bojangles. I wow, knew what it. What a guess. I knew it. Once and he here's the south, thing. he knew. That one <laughs> – <laughs> Well, that one was – that one was sit number five, and the only reason it got kicked out of number five is because I can't go there very often. The closest one is in, I think, somewhere in Tennessee. It's kind of uh, like, like the Nashville argument with Yingling beer. I like Yingling, but right. would it be as good if I could buy right. it at the gas station here? All the time. Right. Yeah. Their, Bojangles has these Botatoes. They're oh, absolutely man. delicious. <laughs> no botatoes. And their Cajun chicken biscuit is is to die for mm-hmm. oh my god it's it's like a breakfast biscuit so it's like a buttermilk biscuit in this spicy cajun flavored 
chicken biscuit in between. You throw a, a thing of cheese on top. Oh my god! We Damn. went on the way on the way back from Joey's bachelor party. Call it Mr. Boat. Oh yeah, and we were we were trying to go, and down there there's like it's like McDonald's. There's one on every exit. There's, they're for, everywhere. For whatever reason, we passed up about forty of them on the way home before. <laughs> yeah. Like we're hungry. Oh Bob. my god! And they are so good. Dan, back me up. How, how oh, they're delicious. they're good. Yeah, you were telling me how good they were, and I knew one would fill me up, but I just ordered. I said screw it. I ordered two, and I was miserable Grab for me. the next five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else have any meds? You weren't? Uh, no, nah, it was just decent. But it also could have been, didn't we get there at breakfast time again? Do they just have a breakfast menu in the morning? No. I think everybody I, was ordering breakfast. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. I, I don't know. How, how dare you? Uh, well, all right. Uh, the one that fell off my list yeah. that was, I mean, it went back and forth with Hardy's was Jimmy John's. Um, the Italian nightclub that was. It I was mean, your sandwich. When I when and I go you guys, to, you guys aren't the ranch fan. They're kicking ranch. No, I mean I don't. It's, I don't dislike. I just don't go out of my so way. It's so good. Get it. I I get it every time. You know, honestly, just give me regular ranch. Quit trying to make your <laughs> own. It's not that good. <laughs> it's it's like you take the hot peppers and put it in the ranch. It's got that little kick to it. I got the hot peppers on my sandwich. Yeah, and you can escalate with that ranch. A big thing for me is like, I mean, they're true to their name. Like they are quick. Oh they're yeah. Fast. They are you quick. Order, you order that for delivery, it's there in like seven minutes. Oh, yeah. Freaky fast. Freaky. It's freaky fast. The only, so, yeah. uh, the only honorable. <laughs> <laughs> I think you freaky. Well, uh, the, only, uh, the only honorable mention I had was Hardee's. Yeah. As we flipped Hardee's is there. great. It's, 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 they have great burgers. They really do. They do. Yeah. Cool. Those, Another, those lists weren't too bad. Those are pretty good. Some kind of sucked more than others, but yeah, it was well, pretty good. Well, you're speaking good. for yourself once again. I was speaking for you, but that's all right. I'm excited to hear what people, other people say. I want to hear, I want to see if we don't that's recognize the, one. That is, that is the funny part because when you make your list and you, you have all these, I mean, we go through the honorables too, but then people will still come in the comments with like, oh my God, I can't believe you didn't say so-and-so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's something that you totally forget and you're like, oh my God, yeah, I did forget yeah. that. Well, I did have one. That's I did. I, sorry, I did have one more honorable mention. You know, the only rule was that I had to have a drive-through. Yeah. Right. So I was thinking, like, you know, you guys ever go to the bank? You go through the oh. drive-through in the bank. They <laughs> right. Give you a sucker when it comes. Back oh, in those the suckers! Oh, so back in the '90s suckers. It's free. Can I have a grape? It's free. It's delicious. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if it's not great, I send it back. <laughs> I put it in the tube. I send it back, sir. Those are only for kids. I said, give me the sucker now. <laughs> Some sweet old lady. Tube <laughs> sock. Yeah. Oh no, not the tube sock. The tube sock. Uh. Oh. Cool. That's yeah. Good. Well, that was good. I've got uh, I've got some more would you rather's. They're not uh, on theme like they were last week, but they are a little bit more uh, thought provoking and. Okay. Maybe- darker or brutal on some of these Uh-oh. okay <laughs> so uh let's just that jump right like, into that yeah, okay. that's gonna hurt yeah kind of like after you get the hot peppers on your sandwich at jimmy john's oh <laughs> next day sorry anyway not sorry so <laughs> so would you rather know when everyone will die but you can do something about it Ooh. meaning you could save them if you chose to or oh, oh boy have all of us the three of like the other two people die and you live. So like in this, in our group here. Oh, the first one. So hold on. I know when every person is going to die. You know, when everyone, you know, is going to die, but you can do something about it. Oh, boy, that kind of sucks. Man, though, doesn't it? That and and listen, I'm not being selfish. That would be amazing to be able to prevent that. I mean, obviously that's amazing, right? Think about how tiring and exhausting that would be. But that's what I'm that's saying. a lot of weight. Is it like a? Is it like a <laughs> boy? That I'm, sucks. I'm laying there, and then I get like a text, like, "Hey, Aunt Janine, <laughs> sure, tomorrow, whatever." You it don't is. have an Aunt Janine. <laughs> she, she gonna wreck that car. So, uh-huh. so all right, hang on. Let me call up Aunt Janine here. Don't drive. You don't, the you car don't have an Aunt Janine. I'm doing a hypothetical here. You just drive okay. over and slash your tires. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you ain't going it. nowhere. You ain't gonna die today. Why'd you but, do that? Yeah, but. Uh, I don't want you guys to die before me. But then th- just don't think want about that. it. Think about it. Like you s- no, I know, but it's it's an interesting thing. Think like oh, it's you, definitely thought provoking. You, you've you've saved eight people and then you hear about someone and you're like, man, I don't know. I got 
I got uh, got my son's birthday party today. Don't really want to miss busy. it. It must just be his time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's I mean, your I time. Guess, it's your time. I guess if I had to pick, I'd pick the option to save people because uh, you don't want your friends to die, right? Yeah, no kidding. I think I'd have to. Yeah, I think you have to go for the save. Yeah, because I think it's as easy please. as call. Like, you just hey. yeah, Mike. You just get a text. Ding. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're getting ready to go out and have, have fun. You gotta, Babe, I'll be back. Yeah. Got to go save I'll, the world again. I'll Where's be back. my super suit? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my super suit? Wait a minute. We didn't bring up the fact that we'd be wearing a superhero outfit. I'm well, definitely duh. on that. Dan, you're well, saving duh. lives. I'm not going to not wear a superhero outfit. Mine's just going to be a big D on my going, chest. Hey. Oh, divorce? That's a shame. What? <laughs> the big D in the room. Super Dan, come <laughs> on. I'm going Quail Man. Quail, oh, nice. Just putting a belt over my head <laughs> with my normal clothes. And What's you're in your doing? underwear. <laughs> Sir, I'm saving lives. <laughs> okay, All right, crazy. I, I got another one. All right. Would you rather get mauled by a pack of stray dogs I or, like that. or grow up with Bill Cosby as your babysitter? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is easy for me because – you're a big not, Bill Cosby fan. Well, and I think <laughs> I think he's a he's more into the women. So I think. Oh I'm boy, that, that sounds a little dark, but that's kind of true. Is it dark or is it just? No, fact? it's fact. I mean, that's it's true. Fact. It's dark, fact. but it's true. I'm gonna I go Bill Cosby as a babysitter. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want to go to Russia and get attacked mm. by dogs. But yeah. hear me out. Hear me out. Let me throw a different angle at you. He's not just your babysitter. He's the babysitter for your whole family. You have Ooh. sisters. Ooh. Ooh. Hate, hate to get dark on you, but that is true. I mean, he's not just babysitting you. Well, does Bill Cosby like to catch his hands? <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, pudding pout. Yeah, the uh, the pudding jello jello. puddings. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess you could look at it two ways, right? Because you're only getting mauled by, well, mauled is, is the key word here. But it's only once. It's only once. Oh, boy, what kind of damage is that going to do? It we could don't know do some it's... damage. You want physical damage or mental damage? I think that's what it boils down to. I you think want, I, th- are you I think I got a Frank and beans. Mm. I'll, t- I'll take a <laughs> mall. <laughs> I'll take the mauling. I'll take the mauling on this one. It's malls, baby. It's so mall. Is it a, is it a one-time Bill Cosby babysit? No. If he's it's like a one-time chi- mall for your childhood, for your childhood. I can't, I can't put Allie through that. Nope. You just don't let her away from your side. Listen, I, just like hey just Bill, like, you won't catch these hands. Come on over. Just yeah. like you said, Bill don't want these hands. Those dogs don't want these hands either, Mike. That's true. They, those how dogs many, go catch. How many are there? 30, 36, Thirty-six. Counted them myself. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take the dogs. You're welcome, Allie. Yeah. Hmm. All right, one more for you. Because Dan can't protect you. <laughs> how dare you? Would you rather sell your body on Craigslist or? Have I've done your... it. <laughs> okay. Would you, out, ra- Jenny. would you rather sell your body on Craigslist again or have your partner always walk you on a leash in public? Oh, oh my God. God. That's terrible. So let's just assume for this scenario that selling your body on Craigslist is a one time shot. And is it to women? <laughs> That's big know. for me. Who's gonna answer the Who's gonna answer the ad? You don't know. You're no, posting, it, you're posting the ad. If I post that, I know who's gonna answer the ad. It's gonna be a guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's because of that manly beard you got. No, women don't go trolling on Craigslist. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Not the uh, kind of money you're asking for. But but man, so every everywhere time, we go, every time you're out in public, everywhere, dude, I can't do that. You just got a leash on you. I'm selling ass. I think. <laughs> you gotta sell ass. You gotta sell ass. <laughs> You're every time you go out in public, you've got a leash on. How hey, demoralizing! We leash up. We're going to Walmart. <laughs> hey, listen, yeah. listen. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go the leash route, and I'm gonna own it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna always sing "Who Let the every Dogs Out." Every time, every oh time. My, who let the dogs out? He oh, said he's gonna sing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you gotta be on all fours. <laughs> no, no, no. Just you're walking. Oh boy, still it, it is rough. Yeah, I'm everywhere. Is I'm it not, every? I'm not proud of it, but Mike, you're selling ass. Craigslist.org slash Mike <laughs> backslash. Check me out. Yeah. HTML CreteThoughts.com. <laughs> Creed thoughts. <laughs> I've HTML. read his. I've read his post. <laughs> yeah, I'm going Craigslist all day. 
because it's a one and done chat. Yeah. Oh God. Well, cool guys. <laughs> fun episode. That was a good episode. That was good. Wasn't the that was good. Yeah. Uh, Dan, once again, as a recap, Dan uh, still has a commanding lead in bad people. Seven. Dan's put up a touchdown. Once again. Uh, <laughs> One touchdown. Had a trash list. Um, he'll try again next time. Hey, hey, listen, your list will get better. Don't, don't bring yourself down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> bring yourself down today. Anyway. Hey. Cheers, boys. Yeah. Cheers, boys. Another episode in the books. This episode brought to you by Bush Latte. And one natural. And the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Oh, Pale. <laughs> Bye. Oh. See you. And that was a Top 5 Podcast. Find us on the socials at a Top 5 Pod. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.